All the sustain he has. Then he starts falling back and has to, uh, falling behind. Top lane though, gang on to Lep. Uh-oh, Lep in trouble here. He does have his flash up very low. He's trying to hold it for the last second. Scrap shield goes on and he blows the flash. Yeah, he's trying to bait him in, trying to keep that blade surge going, trying to show that he's using it. There's the kick, gonna land on towards him, but I think Lep might be safe on this one. He can see he's gonna try and get away. They're gonna have to tower dive and they will go for it. They have enough damage. We can take it too many tower hits. He just about gets away. Shook will be able to walk off as well. And again, the gank on the top lane for a little bit. Up towards the top lane once again. This is definitely a diveable thing. Transcendent Blades coming out oh. from Wicked. They kick him up against the wall. And they are going to take down Lep once again. This one. No. <laughs> He's got to know they're still close. Spend oh, the whole game. Going for it. Oh, they're going to jump in. He gets kicked backwards. Wicked Tresca slow down. In comes the rest of Kaboom though. They try and claps around him. They do not get the lantern. He starts to become stronger yeah. and stronger. So Lance didn't want to go for the fights. Let's see what they do now. He's definitely put a target on his head with that rumble pick. It has such a high win rate, so Alliance was not going to let that go through the game easily. They take down Lep once again. Kaboom is focused on this top lane here. Poor Lep, he's really uh, been in trouble and... Oh, man. Double Danish. Double, indeed, coming up.